Hey guys, hopefully you can hear my microphone. I'm singing, doing singing practice on Shmuel, the singing app in my car. And I've been driving a lot. I've been driving a lot. So yeah, there's definitely that, what they say on the iPhone, isn't it? That thing, the pinky reflection. So I just thought I would just do this because here I am in my car, just doing these old vlogs. Now I'm going to film the video podcast and upload it to the Apple podcast platforms. So I publish it through Anchor where my podcast is recorded and uploaded. And then I'll add it to YouTube and um, I'll do snippets. Um, I'll do long form videos and I'm going to start to do, let me know your thoughts, a long form video and less of the shorts. And because the shorts are very 18 to 24 year old category, I'm, I'm, a pro, I'm looking for followers and subscribers for my podcast who are obviously over 35 into self-improvement who want to know about me as the human barbie who want to know about other things that are not barbie related and so i want also people to leave in the comments ideas for the podcast because i will at some stage possibly do um giveaways and callers who can call in like a radio thing um you'll have to excuse that there whatever that is yeah so I'm going to do interviews where I can, but most people want to be on platforms that have a lot of subscribers like Joe Rogan and uh, is it Joe Rogan? Yeah, obviously my podcast is new. So let me know in the comments what kind of um, subjects you want me to cover. I will be doing like my 50s Barbie kind of vibe because I am the world's oldest human Barbie. I'm one of the I'm the second in the world now, I believe <laughs> I'm the second in the in the world because me and Marcella from the Plastics of Hollywoods. Me and Marcella are profiled a lot this year, so we're kind of top two. Um, obviously that probably changes, top five, top 10, doesn't really matter. I think there's about five top human Barbies in the world and I'm one of them. But obviously your profile every year, the relevance kind of bumps you up or a little bit lower. But do you know what? There's, the world stage is big enough for all of the human Barbies and I welcome every single one of them. Obviously I'm very competitive, but as a performer, you know, as an actor, a model, as a performance artist because my lifestyle is the subject of the podcast but also I want people to know it's not just that so you can't just switch off and say oh boring or whatever it's not my vibe it's like I don't watch cricket or football too much you know it all boxing I only watch the big games so if there's some subjects you'd like to see me cover as a human barbie it could be anything it could be painting your flat or it could be fitness it could be nutrition uh what what was it like getting on stage like what was it like behind the scenes of being a bikini athlete? I think I'm going to do more of that. I'm going to repurpose content that has made me famous around the world as a performer and as a human Barbie and as a fitness athlete as well. Because, you know, the girls next door, girls next level, you've got two of the ex playmates. Um, I can't remember the name. Holly and Bridget they've got a podcast and obviously they're repurposing the content from when they were girls in the Playboy Mansion from like the 1990s or the early 2000s rather so yeah why year 2000 so I'm going to repurpose my history and talk about it because nobody knows but me um behind the scenes and I've got videos of it I've got photos of it so you can do like I can do reaction video podcasts and we can have a giggle it's going to be fun look if it's not fun I don't want to do it man walking his dog cute um and uh yeah or you can might might ask me you know like beauty secrets but I don't want to talk about my face too much because the press keep asking me for interviews and I'm like no I don't want to talk about my face anymore because I've done that and people are like okay all right we've heard this before it's nothing new I'm just doing maintenance to my face because all the hard work over the last 19 years has been done so I don't see the point of telling people what they already know because people are not stupid they're very intelligent so I'd rather talk about what's it like to be an actor what was it like in your 30s being an actor or 40s and 50s and how come you're famous now as a human barbie but you weren't famous as an actor things like that do you know what I mean <laughs> and um yeah there's a huge like books that could be written I, I was going to write my books on it, but I thought, you know what, I might as well talk about it. In snippets, no one's going to read a book about me because I am not Jennifer Lopez. But obviously, one day I do see myself on stage. I keep getting these visions. Let me know your thoughts of me with an earpiece walking the stage up and down doing like life, lifestyle coaching. Never say never. I'm in my 50s. I've got another 30 years of hard work to do. Guess what? Work smarter, not harder. I said I'll be doing this till I'm 80, and I actually do mean that. Yeah. 
this girl's got a hustle i'm doing the barbie hustle like i said in my interviews so anyway there's there's loads of press this year that you can see i won't bang on about it but check out my instagram if you really want to know a bit more and then you can click the links because i've got five links of all my publicity and there's one coming out in Belgium, a documentary on the Barbie movie. And obviously I've been interviewed as a human Barbie because guys, let's get, let's get it right. As a human Barbie, people know me. I'm not known as a top actress, even though I'm an actor on the data, the interview, internet movie database, my brain's running too quick for my tongue. So I'm going to keep the level up, going to keep it entertaining and fun because in the past I was grieving for many years for my mom who died of cancer, then my twin sister committed suicide. So guys, if you look back at old videos and go, oh, she's like rabbiting on or she's got high energy, you bet, you bet I'm going to have high energy because guess what? No one wants to see me looking depressed. Oh, okay, so let's just take it down a notch and um, just let my hair. Anyway, so I'll switch gears and keep it high entertainment vibe. Let me know what you think. I hope this is recorded or I'm going to have to do it all over again. And I'm going home to upload my podcast because I accidentally deleted the audio version because I put subscriptions paid like $9.99 a month. Who's going to pay for that? No one because there's not many people listening, but I'm building it up. So guys, got to support me. Subscribe to my YouTube, please. I've never done that, but apparently I've got to just say, please subscribe to my YouTube, Rachel Evans official. Rachel Evans Barbie and Instagram I'm not bothered about Instagram it's my art gallery do you know what I mean I don't look at the followers or comments people look but they don't comment they scroll and they don't engage that's fine whatever but the thing is I know people quietly will support me but they don't want to be seen to be supporting me and that's why I don't get a lot of likes it's weird because I've never done it for that if it was I would be engaging with audiences on a different level I'm doing it as my art gallery Instagram YouTube is just something you can visually see me um, again it's like my art gallery visually and my podcast is the vocal art gallery so let's get this right everything I do is like my performance art for me so I can always look at it and look back on my human Barbie journey and I am my own you know manager if you know what I mean because I've got two agents they don't get me hardly any work but they're there if I get a booking say I've got a performing Dubai at a, sh a shopping mall at Christmas as Barbie you never know because one of those requests came in once it was really weird you can even ask like what do my agents do or what do I do and I get all my publicity because people come direct to the artists now all the artists that I know have people come direct to them they don't rely on the agents the agents are there if you need to sign and write a big contract and get them to look over it but most of the contact the engagement has hello, hi, can you do this with me? They'll go straight to you on Instagram DMs or they'll email you. And that's the best way because let's face it, guys, unless you are Jennifer Lopez, what's the point? You might as well just say, hey, Rach, what do you think about doing this? So anyway, a top mainstream TV company just approached me and I declined the offer because they wanted to do, it's unpaid and I only really do paid work for it. It takes a long time to produce like a half an hour show or a documentary. And like you guys know, I've got a day job in the fashion job and I'm a businesswoman. I'm on commission, I sell. And then I've got obviously in the evenings, weekends and days off, got work for myself as a self-employed entertainer. I'm building it. But guys, if you're on my journey with me doing the Barbie hustle, then I really expect you guys to follow the journey so you can look back and go, she's come a long way. Because I have, I've come a long way. Every year I've got my, my plans. We can talk about fun stuff. We can even talk about how you organise your calendar, your schedule, how you can, if you don't plan, you're planning to fail. And if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Things like that, do you know what I mean? Diary of a CEO podcast. I've been listening to that for inspiration. Amazing guy. If you want to leave comments, please leave comments in this YouTube video. There's no edit. I'm holding it with my crooked wonky arm and um yeah it's just like a vlog but i'm going to sit down in the studio and film i think when i get home so love you loads guys thank you to all my supporters who really do support me and watch my videos and let's think of the future sending you much love and hugs 10 minutes nearly gotta go it's getting dark